All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to be walking you through how to get Poke Chords new version, Poke 2, running on your server. And honestly, it's the same way as every other bot. Somewhere on their website or on top.gg, there's like a button that says invite Poke 2. You click it and then it'll take you to the page to invite it to your server. So let's talk about what this is. So if you want to play Pokemon on Discord, there's a couple of different bots to do it. It used to be Pokecord was the big one, and this is the successor to Pokecord. I believe it's run by the same people, except for like the original creator. And so you can catch and collect Pokemon, you can trade and sell them, you can now battle Pokemon, and then there's a few other features that it's got, like time and weather features, just like in Pokemon Sword and Shield, you can find shiny Pokemon. There's form changes, there's a large community, good support, open source, and more. So basically it's just the more open version of what they had before. They even have a little GitHub over here where you can see all of what they've been working on and contribute to it if you want or use it. And then down here, They've got the roadmap for stuff that they want to implement or improve, including Gen 8 Pokemon and all of that stuff. You can see that here. But what we want is we're just going to add it to our server. So we're going to click Add Pokecord, and then I'm going to add it to the Chupacabra's Lair. And then it wants to create slash commands in the server and doesn't necessarily need to paint happy little trees, but it should. And then it wants admin rights. I don't really needed to have admin rights because I want to be able to restrict it from being able to post in certain channels. So I'm going to authorize it. I'm going to tell it that I am people and then it should pop into my server now. We now have Pokecord on the server. If we look at the welcome mat, Poke2 has arrived. And so what I want to do is I actually want to create a specific channel for the Pokemon spawning to happen in. I'm going to go down to my gaming channel and I'm going to call this the Pokemon game channel. And I'm going to create that. And this is where I want the Pokecore to primarily do its thing. And I wonder if the same command that they used to have still works for Pokecore. Let's go ahead and give Pokecore the bot status so I can actually or Poke2, the bot status, so I can actually keep track of it. I like to be able to see all of them available right over here. And then let's go back down to the new Pokemon game channel. Let's actually just call this Pokemon... Pokemon channel. Keep that simple. And... Uh, it's just... I wish they just put this stuff in like a nice clean list on their website though, because that would make your life so much easier to be like, step one, do this, step two, do that. But hey, that's what these tutorials are for. So in this case, step one, invite it to your server. Step two, uh, make a channel for it and give it like a, a the ranks that you usually use for those different bots and everything. Use the redirect command to lock it into a channel if you really feel you need to do that. I personally prefer to do that so that, again, we limit the spam on a busy server. And then after that, start so that you can pick your starter and then you just start talking a bunch. You can just start uh, doing a bunch of stuff to spam. And eventually the idea is a Pokemon will start to appear once you do enough Typing a Pokemon should magically appear. Man, really? I've got, oh, there we go. Finally, a wild Pokemon appears. Uh, what is this thing? Let's just open this in our web browser. If I open this over here, this is how I did this before. I just reverse image searched these images to find out what they are. Oh, it's Litten. Okay, now we know. So I can go P... Catch Litten. Boom, now I've caught it and I got some coins. I can now level this up or sell it and all that stuff using different commands. I can pick this as my primary, like full on, like main Pokemon. Uh, otherwise these Pokemon will just level up as I text and do stuff. So anyway, that in a nutshell is how you install Poke2 onto your Discord server. 
It's a pretty simple process. Invite it, set up a channel for it, redirect to that channel if you want it limited to one channel. And then I actually just went through and blocked its ability to send messages in all channels except for that one channel so that, again, I prefer to keep control of spam. And then you're pretty much good to go at that point. Um, if you guys want to play Poke2 and you don't want to set it up on your own server, you can pop into my server. I've got a whole channel set up and you can go mess around with that to your heart's content, chat with other people, hang out. And then if you have any questions or comments about Poke2, I'm not the end-all be-all expert on it, but I'd be more than happy to help if you have any questions. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.